I'm also going to give out something very cool at 3,000 subscribers on YouTube and 3,000 followers on Instagram. And if y'all like, but it's not mandatory, go follow us on Facebook, all three platforms at Platinum the Paint Contractor. Hope y'all enjoy this awesome video. Let's get to it. What's up? It's John here with Platinum Pin Contractor bringing you to here another awesome video how I do bidding in general. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start off by I'm going to I'm going to start off with the basics. So here is a plan that has no scale. So this is this is also important information. Say that they send you a plan and the plan has no scale. Then we're going to have to make our scale and invent our scale. We already know that an average door size is three by seven. So we're going to go ahead and calibrate the scale and I'm going to put an average of three feet per door. And then it's going to say click two points. So here is the door frame. I'm going to get right at the end of the door frame to the other end of the door frame. Make sure that those lines are straight and there it calibrated the scale. So right here, it should give me three feet of linear. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and I like to use thin lines and I always use red for just it's a habit for my linear when I'm checking measurements of from point A to point B. So right here it is three feet. So there you have it. Now we'll be able to use this scale. Now we'll be able to use this scale to measure, say that we're just talking about one individual room, a specific only one room. Let's ignore this whole project. Let's ignore that all these rooms or this building exists. We're not doing a takeoff on specifically this building. We're going to concentrate just on, let's say this was a bedroom or a master bedroom or a bedroom and the master closet and the master bathroom and the hallway to the master bathroom. So let's use it as that. Okay. We're not going to use it as this is a building. It's just, if you're getting plans or if you have plans from uh, new builders or new construction or renovations on commercial or residential, and if you have a set of plans, or if you're just walking it and you're using a, a floor measurement or a measuring tape, all th this whole same uh, formula adapts to whatever you're measuring or whatever you're doing a takeoff on and you're trying to figure out paint and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go into that detail yet. That's for another video. But here we're just going to figure out how do we figure out measurements when we're doing a takeoff through a plan's and then we don't have a scale. If you have a scale, it's even better because you'll have standard scales. So it would be a standard scale if it had it. But since we it didn't and I want to have my uh, my own rough estimate of what I know that these doors measure, then I'm just calibrating it. And I don't even know what this scale is right here, but that's what it gave me to figure out measurements of these rooms. So here it should give me six feet. Let's try that. There we have it, six feet. <clears throat> so there's different ways, different ways that you can use this uh, software that I use for a room. So this is the master bedroom, let's say. Let's forget about this column being here because this is representing that there's a column there or some type of round wall, but it's a column probably, and they just sheet rocked or, or uh, masonry around it. And uh, But it's still part of the room. So if you want to include it, I'm going to show you if you want to include it or if you don't want to include it in your square feet. I include it because it has to do the difference with my takeoff. So if it was just a square room like this one, say that this was the master bedroom here. Uh, to do the square footage on this room with no column, we would go to takeoff new takeoff and then we'll put we'll t call the name um master 
even though it's a bedroom because this was the i said this was going to be the bedroom closet let's call this the closet instead master closet then we'll go to area i'm sorry surface area and i choose thin <clears throat> and then let's say that we already know the height of all the rooms it's going to be on the reflective ceiling plans usually on the pan it's always on the reflective ceiling plan uh rcp it's usually rcp yeah rcp or just reflective ceiling plan in general so let's say that this was 10 feet of height or eight feet whatever whatever height it's going to be we'll put start measuring and here we won't lock it you can lock it if you just want to use that height straight across like if i'm going to measure this whole building and this whole building um all the outside rooms are eight feet and all the corridors are 10 feet i would want to lock in eight feet and just use eight feet for eight feet because then i won't get it confused and i won't uh, measure corridors by accident when corridors are higher then i'm going to cheat myself out if i'm only using eight feet so you got to be careful that's what that's more into detail uh, but let's say that it's just that one room so here we're going to use let's use eight feet nine feet no inches and we won't lock it but there's two ways how i can measure out this square feet already from this room so i can click corner to corner which is like this right and it's already giving me 49 times 9 it should give me 441 square feet so let's go ahead and check it 443 square feet because of the of the inches that it had but that's still i mean 443 85 because you're clicking from corner to corner i, t I got 441 so it's actually giving me towards two uh, square feet of uh of extra takeoff so then now we're going to delete this and if we were measuring this column Let's just call it master closet, but the the bathroom, the, the master bedroom is, let's say it's also nine feet because we're going to measure the column now. Now, how we would do it is same way. It's nine feet of height. So the nine feet is already set in right here. Nine feet. Then we'll just measure around this column. And then we'll check it and it gives me the square footage 544 square feet uh but if if all these like anyone that don't have a column i just want to measure it as a perfect square i'm going to use this specific tool so let's go back it's nine it's still at nine feet of height but i'm going to use this rectangle tool here for the takeoff and i'm just going to click two corners click one corner here and double click over here and it gives me the square footage the takeoff 445 <clears throat> let me erase that now um, basically right now I'm just walking of the simple ways that I use it that I utilize these tools on my takeoff to do my takeoff next we're gonna go ahead and learn how i do my count so i'm gonna now count all these doors whatever that more into detail is reading the plans but how would i count all these doors using the software that i use i would go to takeoff new takeoff measurement type count and i'll put hollow metal frames only if i'm only measuring the frames red um here i'll probably use very thick or thick and then i'll use a triangle and then i'll just start counting all these door frames click 
click on them there's two right there so I'll leave two triangles there I'm gonna skip all the corridor ones These ones I'm clicking right here, part of the corridor, but I mean like this area, I'm going to not click on. I'm going to show you why right now. <clears throat> so let's say that these were taking one type of door, but same, all the same door frames. I would just note it right here in my group. Edit, and I would put right here, hollow metal frames. with wood doors right um whatever the case may be then if i want to do something else like measure a different door with a different type i would put count hollow middle frame and door Say that these, I was only painting the the door frames, whatever, and then these, they want the doors painted. And how do I separate them? Count. I'll use a dark purple to show the difference. Larger triangle. And that'll show me different ones. <clears throat> I missed one there. So I'll go back, put it there, put it there, wherever I missed it. And <clears throat> so I hope you got that example of how I count the doors or count the door frames, whatever. Some that's a different video. Some of them will have notes around the door if it's what it's taking or I have a number and then over here it will have a list of all the um, items or all the things that are going to go or if it's a new building obviously everything will be new but if it's an addition or renovate I mean if it's a renovation they'll probably just want some door frames painted some not some doors not painted some doors painted um, whatever the case may be but that's another video these are just the basics of how to use the tools and how to understand the set of plans and especially understand scale. Scale is very important. Um, if you're not using the right scale, you're basically just not doing nothing. I don't care what you're reading or what and you're clicking and all that. It's useless because once you start measuring on rooms and height and all that, the scale and you might got to be switching it, switching the scale, even if you're on the same page because everything on that page might not have the same scale if it's like cabinets and then walls or whatever the case may be um smaller uh smaller details from the plan on a separate side of the of that same page but just a different scale you got to be very careful with that too uh what else now measuring basically we're oh the the ceiling say that this now we're going to go with ceilings ceilings we're going to use area let's say it's a gypsum ceiling we're going to fill it with blue blue thin lines start measuring same way if it's if this ceiling actually takes that and you want to be all exact and perfect then you use this two right here i'm sorry then the ceiling That would be a seating with that column. See how I missed that area right there? You want to get very specific.
I use the scroll to zoom in and zoom out of the page. So that's that ceiling. And if I want to measure this one, I'm going to use this. This tool, the one that is just two clicks. And then I got the measurement of that ceiling. And it'll give it to me there. Area, 144 square feet. Area, 221 square feet. Then once we got everything and we've already measured everything and we made sure we haven't missed one item, uh, I go to report, take off summary, and it'll give me the summary of what I'm measuring. So if you enjoy this video, at any given time throughout the video, if you've enjoyed it and you've reached the end, please don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to hit that big red button and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get new notifications of when new content has been posted to this channel. After doing all these things, don't forget to leave comments down in the comment section of more that what you would want to learn <clears throat> as to a follow up of this video. Uh, I'm going to go more into de more into detail on separate videos, but this is just an understanding on how to understand the blueprint. Of course, uh, there's more details. You got to read all the items, all the notes, everything that pertains to your division. Division meaning um, your trade. In my case, it's the tape, float, texturing, and painting. And leave it down in the comment section of more that you want to learn on doing a takeoff, do, meaning a... a understanding and estimating a job or a room uh, trim trim it's going to be the same way you're just going to use linear feet so this instead of putting linear i would name it trim and you can do the same thing with the room use the same ones um this to start measuring this too to measure you know in detail the trim around there or this one just to measure a square room this one right here you have the trim there it's obviously by one foot um, if it's bigger than one foot you would want to use surface area or if it's one foot, you of the trim is for any reason is one foot or crown molding is one foot for whatever reason, you would use surface area and just put it by one foot and then it'll give you the square footage. Um, usually I that's already a solid one foot. So I don't use it. So yeah, I'm sorry, you're only gonna use surface area if it's above one, one foot of height. Uh, this one already gives you one foot of height. As you can see, it's going to give me how many linear feet. So it's a uh, 49 square linear feet of trim. Uh, so, like I said, if at any given time you've enjoyed this video, please, if you want me to continue making more videos like this and you've enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you and you want to learn more on how to do takeoffs, how to give bid proposals, how to do those types of things, please smash that like button. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless y'all and I'll see y'all next video.